Naughty Dog is a juggernaut of modern gaming. As arguably Sony's favorite in-house studio, they have created four blockbuster franchises spanning four generations of PlayStation consoles. The industry looks towards Naughty Dog as the best in class of storytelling, visuals, and AAA game development. In the tough and merciless games industry, Naughty Dog is as close to universally loved as it gets. And yet, every time I try to play Uncharted or Last of Us, their two latest and greatest franchises, I don't like them. I play the game for an hour or two before an odd mixture of boredom and frustration overwhelms me. These are award-winning games lauded by nearly every critic and journalist in the business, and all I want to do is put down the controller and never come back. But why? What is it about Naughty Dog games that makes me bounce off of them? To answer that question, I first have to think about my relationship with gaming. I have loved video games since my earliest memories of playing Super Mario Bros. as a toddler, or running to a friend's house to beat Sonic 2. That excitement of colorful sprites on a screen, jumping up and dashing as you press noisy buttons on a big controller. I was hooked. As I grew older, I started to play games that encouraged discovery and creativity. I remember my entire family working together to map out the levels of Chip's Challenge. And I remember spending hours and hours flying around Chicago in Microsoft Flight Simulator, learning the rivers and buildings of a city I had never visited. For me, video games became all about interaction and challenge. Taking direct control of the game, playing around with all of its mechanics, testing the boundaries of possibility, and performing the impossible after lots and lots of practice. Games became an extension of my toy box, offering countless digital worlds to explore and play within. To this day, I still love that sense of wonder and excitement as I start a new game and find all the ways in which I can have fun. But when I play Uncharted or Last of Us, I don't feel that way. Instead, I feel like I'm on a theme park ride, guided from one diorama scene to the next. Outside of my little rail car are characters that move and speak within beautifully decorated tableaus, all of it eliciting an appropriate amount of oohs and ahs but I can't get up and explore the space or interact with the people that are in it. And I definitely can't do anything to change what's happening. I'm just along for the ride. It's that disconnect between the controller and what is happening on screen that makes me dislike modern Naughty Dog games. When Nathan Drake climbs through a careening, crashing train, it's Nathan Drake doing it, not me. I push a button every now and then to open a door or follow a narrow path, but it doesn't feel like much. There's no room for deviation or creativity or even challenge in a game like that. With so little for me to control, it's like I'm watching the game rather than playing it. Naughty Dog has embraced cinematic storytelling and created compelling story-first games. But ironically, I don't think those games are meant to be played. Instead, they are experiences with tightly confined pathways and little room for player interaction. That design choice allows them to focus on telling incredibly beautiful and polished stories, but it doesn't make them fun to play. When I think about story-driven games that I love, they all involve at least some element of choice or exploration. Bioshock has a singular storyline, but it wraps around a tough moral choice and gives you multiple mechanical upgrade paths to choose from. Yakuza 0 also has incredible storytelling, both in the mainline and in side quest, all of which makes the open world setting feel that much more vibrant. And the story in Spec Ops The Line works so well because it's a strong foil to the conventional shoot-everything-you-see gameplay. While I do think Naughty Dog deserves to be applauded for their work in pushing game narrative beyond the standard tropes and cliches, I can't help but find their gameplay design lacking. When I sit down to play a game, I want to play with it. I want to feel some sense of participation and accomplishment. But if all I'm doing is following a hallway and completing quick time events, it's just not satisfying. Oh, hello there. You've caught me practicing my reading. Boy, I sure wish I wasn't illiterate. Clearly you've enjoyed another Subpixel video. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, it lets us and it lets YouTube know that our content is worth watching. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to pretending.